In this segment, we will look into ActiveMQ. ActiveMQ is basically a messaging bus and it helps us in building event-based systems. So, what is an event-based system? In an event-based system, basically this messaging bus is running in the middle. So, there are clients which can post messages on this bus and then that the interested parties can subscribe to these messages and they can listen to it. So, there are uh, usually two kind of models. One is called a queue-based model and there is called a publish subscribe model. So, in the queue-based model, there is like uh, one guy uh, that puts the message in the queue and another one dequeues it. In the publish subscribe model, there is a publisher who publishes the message and there could be multiple subscribers who can subscribe to it. So, what we will do is that we will look into how to install an active entry installation, how to start it up and then we will look into small Java program so that we can get an idea that how we can interact with active entry. Basically, we will look into a simple pop sub model, we will create a producer and a consumer and we will see that how message is posted and how message is consumed. So, first thing first, let's download the active MQ. So, uh, you can download it from activemq.apache.org. So, I have already downloaded the zip file and extracted it here. Uh, so, you can see a lot of folders here, but of interest right now is this build folder. Click on it and you will see a batch file here. So, let's click on it. So, you will see that the active MQ is coming up. So, the bus is starting and the bus has started and with ActiveMQ it comes up with a web console. You can see it ActiveMQ console, web console. You can just copy this URL and paste it in a browser. So, here comes the ActiveMQ console and then click on this manage ActiveMQ broker and you can see uh, lot of details here it, it, it can give you basically what is what is happening right now inside the messaging bus so there are queues and for in uh, and of interest for this segment is topics so we'll focus on topics so here you will see that so there are some default created what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new topic called climate okay now I have already written a Java program here it has got a main method, a consumer and a producer. So, what we will do is that we will connect to this messaging bus, the active M2 instance and then the producer will produce a message and consumer will consume it. So, let me just run it in the debug mode. So, we connect to the active MQ by using a connection factory and uh, by default, it listens on this 61616 port. We can configure it. It's on TCP protocol. So, I can just move ahead and my connection factory is created. Okay. And then, now I create a consumer. So, just, just go back and see here if something has happened. So, nothing. So, now I am going to create a consumer. So, consumer is basically a runnable, it implements a runnable interface. So, I have already put a breakpoint in the run method. So, I will just resume it here. Okay. So, it comes here in the run method. So, let us just see. Still nothing. So, now let us see that how we can connect a consumer to a messaging bus. So, what we do is that we basically create a connection. There are some standard stuff you need to do. Open a session. And then you now connect to the topic. So, you are going to say that this consumer is interested in this topic. So, what this piece of code would do is that if the topic is there, it will connect to it. Otherwise, it will just create a new topic. And then, it will create the consumer against this topic. Okay. And, it will wait here till the message comes up. So, if I can just step over and it is just waiting for the message to come. Okay. Now, let us go back here and see that what all has happened here. So, you see here, we have got a climate topic and there is one consumer that is now basically connecting to this climate. Now, we need to send the message to this guy. So, for that, we go back to this main thread which is now sitting here. So, you see here, there are now two threads running. One is the consumer thread which is waiting for the message to come. And then there is the main thread from which we ask the consumer to be created in a separate thread and the thread moves ahead. 
and it's sitting on this producer thread. So now let's create a producer. So again, I put a breakpoint in the run method. So once I go here, you will see again the same set of things. Now it will say, again it will try to connect to the same one and create a producer. Okay. So let's come here. So there is a producer now created. Okay. Now I'll create a message. So I'm saying that there is, uh, let me create a message for today is hot and then you create the message using this API and then you send the message. So let's just see here. So you see here, there are still no messages here. And then let me just run it. And you see here, the message is in queue and this we can do the session close and what has happened in the other thread on the topic consumer side it has also gone ahead because it has basically received that message and if i look into the console because i put a out the print talent okay, i think this thread is still hanging so we can actually uh, let's ask this thread to run yeah so now this message has been consumed let's see what this message is so if you see here, there is a text message and I will print it here. Let's look into the console. Today is hot. So you see here, the producer has produced the message and the consumer has consumed the message and I can just let the program run. So you see how this whole thing came together. So we have this messaging bus. We created a topic on the messaging bus, which is called climate. Then we asked the consumer to connect to that climate and wait for any message to come and then we ask the producer to post a message on the climate topic in the moment the message was posted it was consumed by the consumer. So hopefully this will give you an, a good start to the active MQ. Thank you very much.